I think we, we will take the position of a Mesa. On the first question, in terms of uh, can we immediately confirm that these elections were credible, I think in the manner in which the President has explained it helps all of us to appreciate the fact that uh, the reports we have given today have done something. First of all, we have not been shy to mention to the Zimbabwean people and to the international community that all of us agree that uh, we saw calmness and peace you know, towards the election and even during the election day. Um, we voted, I mean, the people of Zimbabwe voted on the 23rd and 24th. We witnessed there and our report stipulates each area, whether it was voters' role, whether it was the ballots, whether it was the security, we have articulated our position in view of what we observed. Uh, but it's too early for us to say it was not credible. It's credible uh, because the process is not finished. Uh, the election results are not even out yet. And like the President has said, you may raise your hand to the and say, we are done and dusted and it was credible, then tomorrow you just get a shock of your life that everything is reversed in one action. So I think let's be fair with ourselves that that question maybe is coming too far ahead. As SADIC, SADIC has guidelines and principles that we use to assess um, an election process. And SADIC is clear today in our report. We have stated our position as to whether, you know, everything was in place according to our standards and guidelines. And uh, our conclusion directly deals with our position on that. And if you look at our conclusion, it will speak to you on that issue. On the question of, um, you know, do we go into the villages or we just restrict ourselves to the uh, urban areas? I, I think that uh, the, the goodness of having a multiplicity of uh, observer missions is that some of them have greater capacity than others. Uh, those who have greater capacity are going to obviously go into more areas of the country. And others may not go as far, but everyone is observing. And that's why we do it together. Because where AU went, probably we didn't go. Where SADIC went, probably they didn't go. And generally we can bring the, you know, the, the general feeling from across the country by bringing all these areas together in our reports. So I think, you know, we have done our best as Comesa. We've been to all the 10 provinces. Did we go to every village? No, we didn't. Uh, but um, there were people there in those areas as well where we didn't go. The last one, yes, uh, Zek promised us in this very hall that they were ready for this election. And that really brought a lot of you know, happiness to all of us. Um, but life happens. Uh, life happens like it happened on the 23rd, that what they promised us did not come to pass. Obviously, you notice the uneasiness, the discomfort that that brought along. Um, our responsibility as observers is simply to observe as to what kind of impact is that kind of situation going to have on the outcome of this election. And I think that's why we have been observing. And uh, the rest of the concerns, we have raised them in our reports and we have addressed the issues of ZEC directly in all of our reports. So I think that ZEC you know, it remains for them to uh, assess what we have said and the Zimbabwean people to make up their minds based on what we observed and what we think about the failure of ZEC to live up to their promise. But again, all that is in our reports. I thank you.